everybody, Kay here. Welcome back to another episode of Cardiophobia. I'm pretty sure this is our last episode. If not, I'm gonna make it my last episode and record for as long as possible until this game is done. Because I am so ready to stop this game. Oh wait, um, I saw, on the way back from last episode, I saw Marcus when I was creeping through What's-His-Face's window. This, this kid that died. I think Robin? Yeah. And I didn't want to pay him any mind, because I didn't know if he was going to scare the shit out of me or not. Hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. But I can't believe it. Yeah, your friend's kind of dead. He was my first real friend. Yeah, I know. Sorry for getting your hopes up before when I played the piano. It's fine. I'm actually kind of glad that you told me the truth. I wonder what would happen if I didn't tell him the truth. Would he have gotten mad and tried to kill me? You do that. I don't really see a point in it anymore. Yo! I'll really leave you- No! Cut your shit, man! You think staying here will change anything? What? You can't stay here! Okay, look, sh- Arm. Don't. Just shut the f frickle frack up. It's your choice if you want to leave, bruh. Fine, I get it. Mm. Do you really? Do you really? Oh, I can move. Okay. So, I think we we got a weird key last episode, and I think that leads to that weird-ass door that has, I don't even know what that thing was. I'll show you in a second. I will get there, and I will show you. This door. This thing. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. Weird key. Uh, looks like I can spend the- Okay. I wrote down the code for this, because I'm a dirty cheater. Inner. Inner. Middle. Middle. Outer. Outer. I think- One more? Oh, fuck. There's more. Out. Oh. Okay, I probably just fucked up sometime before. But I got it this time. Oh, hello, clown. Just gonna sneak by, uh- Oh, hey! There's a thing. Emily's diary page. Read now? Yeah, sure. I've had this strange feeling lately. Like someone is watching me. I haven't actually seen anyone. But I keep hearing doors open and close. Creaking noises just beyond the light's reach. Scratching in on... Scratching in the walls and someone breathing close to me. I don't know if I should tell the others. I really don't want them to worry about me. But they're really like family to me. I should say something. I want to tell them. For now, I'll just tell her. She'll know what's best. Tell who? Mom? Mom's dead. Aw, oh, I don't have more medkit keys. Do you have a key? Fuck you. Oh, what's this? It's a recorder, and there seems to be a tape inside. Play it? Sure. How are you feeling? What? That's our house doctor. Not talking again, eh? What's the matter? You don't look so good. You don't look too good yourself either, bud. You know, she told me what happened. You started again, didn't you? Where did I start? These those notes. You're leaving them everywhere again. Oh, are those those um strange notes that are that just kind of pop up places? We've already talked about this. You can't do that. Your mother has to be quick to take them down. What if others read them? You'll upset them. Well, maybe I don't give a shit. Not lying. What? You're not lying? It's only in your head. This hobby you have, leaving all these notes everywhere, it's not good for you. It's not real, Felix. Oh, it's not possible. Don't worry, I'll give you a stronger dose. You can go now. Save me. Oh, shit, I forgot completely about Emily. Oh, when I restarted the game, Emily... I was at the point where Emily was still alive, but I still didn't decide to save her. But I guess I could save her now. The hell is going on here? These notes? I wrote them. Okay, well. Um, I can't tell if I'm dying or not. I'll walk out the door and see. Actually, no, I'm scared. I'm gonna take my medicine now. I have two. I'm good for it. Yeah. I guess I can go save Emily now. Or, 
Or, or never mind, because she's dead again. Shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> I, I was too late, again. I had a chance to redeem myself, and I fucked up again. Self, I'm uh, Ew. Emily, I still don't understand why you, you would do that. Well, I'm dying. Shit. Yeah, 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 I know you're crying unstoppably because you love her. Uh, can I... Does she have anything I can take? I forget. Oh, okay. Whatever, Emily. Coming over here was useless. Alright, guys. Looks like... Okay, one more thing. We have to go to the basement and use that gold key that I completely forgot we had. And I think that's the last thing we need to do. Not sure. But we can try it out and YOLO. Alright. Energy drink. Oh, Marcus has a diary. Read now. Today I didn't get violent. It feels nice. I really was not- Wait, I already read this. Get out of here. I already read you. You'll want to kill people. Okay. Where the fuck are we? Oh, this is where you insert stuff. Yeah, let's insert this orb. And then there's this one. I think the next one is this one. And then we do the the blech one. And then this one is the rude one. Then we got Gren. And then Gree, the last one. Grease. Something unlocked. Uh shit, where is it at? Is it Oh Oh Oh, okay, found it. Hello Picked up I don't know. It's a book filled with data on all of us. The children of this house. First step. Take them in as your own. Make them feel happy. Let them know all the joys they can have without their fear. Let them have the family they can never have. The life that isn't controlled by their phobia. Whoa. What the fuck? Second step. Strip them from everything they have and take them to the sterile room. What? Leave them there for a couple of days. Let them feel the hopelessness of their actions. And let them build up a longing for the things that was taken from them. Third step. Finally, lead the child. Yeah, lead the child to their room. The room must be perfect, a match to their fear, as close as it can get. If it's not good enough, it only raises the probability of a relapse. It is worth mentioning that the main point of all of this is to have the child confront and overcome their fear. Only then can they be relieved from it. Without a doubt. This is our house doctor's handwriting. There was something scribbled further back in the book. Some of the children showed signs of memory loss due to the shock from the treatment. Others needed a more direct approach to wipe their memory. So it's important that they forget what happened and remember their phobia. What? But wait. They, they went through all that trouble just to get rid of it, and then they're just like, you know what, I'm going to have you remember it again. They cannot com be completely cured until I have finished my research. What research? This is all made possible thanks to you, Mother. Oh, Mom! You did that? I can't believe you'd do such a thing, Mother. What have you done? She's apparently a fucking psychopath. But whatever, because I'm going to leave now. Yeah, I'm just going to... Shit! Again? Really? I fucking hate that clown. Alright, whatever. I think this is the way out. The axe key- What? I could have left this entire time if I would have had that axe key. Really? I could have just up and left? The fuck? It seems to go outside. It might be the only way. Yeah, leave. I could have left this entire time. Pissed. 
The rope left me deep in the forest. I kept walking, trying to get to the end, so I walked for hours. I had lots of time to think. Why did I not help Emily out? Because I'm a son of a bitch. I don't understand myself. Marcus should have gotten out the house, okay? I had to be frank with him, but surviving is more important right now. I hope he understands that. I heard a shot coming from Mother's room, and I had to go inside, but I didn't look around. Lucas is dead and buried. I still can't get over the fact that... May he rest in peace. Him and Robin both. I still can't believe that Lavinia would do that to Lu Wait, where is she, by the way? It's just so horrible. But she didn't die. She didn't kill herself. She just disappeared. Um, okay. She lost her mind completely. I never expected that things that happened in this house. The things I witnessed only happened for me. I only saw darkness. She saw hers. But I escaped. I'm free. When I left the house, I felt stronger. I'm calm now. I'm at peace. After a while, I lost track of time. Everything was darker than, the, than before. I think I passed out. Where am I? I had to open my eyes. I swear to fucking God, if you're back at this place. Oh, hey Marcus, what's going on? Yeah, but... Um, only you? I see. No one else made it out. You just named everybody else who was dead. Who else did you think was going to make it out? There's a road up ahead. If we keep heading north, we'll be at the city in no time. Yeah, well, let's go. I'm sorry. Hey, Marcus. What is it? There's something I need to tell you. What they did to us in there. Wait. So... All of this was... Shit. That scared me, and it probably shouldn't have. Quiet. It's so quiet. I don't know what to say. Okay. Shit. We both lost someone we care about. Huh. What is the thinking about? What? Is he blaming me? Should I ask? Nah, just keep it to yourself. Do I even want to know? He probably despises me. Marcus? Yeah. I'm sorry. But, okay, so all of this was... All of their fears kind of just kind of... What the fuck? Marcus! You son of a bitch! I trusted you! I knew I shouldn't have let you out. What the fuck? Why would you do that? After everything I've done to you. For you. Shit. <laughs> Alright then. Fuck you, Marcus, you piece of shit. This is what I get for... Oh, I got the blame... Oh, so there's multiple endings. Probably would have got the better ending if I helped um, Emily out just a little bit. But, so everything is... Everything that we saw wasn't actually there. It was all just kind of warped because of this fucking doctor that decided to be an asshole and just try to get us over our fear. But then he's like, oh, well, nope. And I don't know. This is kind of a confusing story. It's 34 out of 30. Oh, that's pretty good. I did pretty good. Probably would have got a full score if I, uh. Helped Emily. But whatever. I did pretty damn good. You've unlocked one of Central and Oh, there's more endings? If you get to the same ending, you can skip the movie, but press enter. Um, no thanks. I think I'm just gonna leave it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for the game. But I'm not playing this anymore. Instead, I'm gonna go to face cam and give a review on this game. Hey, uh, this is the review for Cardiophobia. I'm gonna go through the pros first to tell you what I like about it, and then I'm gonna say, you know, the, the, the cons, what I didn't like too much about the game. Well, uh, first I'd like to say the ambience was pretty good. Like, 
the music and everything and not knowing when I'm going to run into a triggered event or a jump scare kind of had me on my toes and creeped out a little bit. So that was pretty good. Uh, jump scares, when there were some, I'm a little bitch, so I get scared easily. I thought some of them were pretty good. Like some of the ones that I didn't, that you guys didn't see when I did them off camera, there were some pretty good ones. And that one where the girl went through the curtain and came at me, that ghosty goo girl, that was a pretty good jump scare. I gotta admit, that one's pretty good. The health system was pretty unique. Like it didn't naturally regenerate. You had to actually take medicine and. It's weird that it didn't regenerate because a lot of the games nowadays, they do regenerate. And I like that it kind of took a step back and it's all like, ha, no, health does not regenerate here. You got to figure it out yourself how to survive. And I'm not good at surviving, so that was kind of difficult for me on my end. The overall concept was pretty good. You know, you're trapped in this house. You have to get out, but you also have to... You also have like a raging heart condition you have to keep track of while you're doing it eh, or if you don't you're gonna die and you also have to overcome your fears while you're doing this and I think Felix's main thing was losing people I think that's what his major fear was he didn't want to lose people close to him and he did anyways sorry about that Felix didn't mean to do that and now we're going to move on to the cons, or the things that I thought the developer could improve on. Alright, the story was a little difficult to understand. You don't really know what's going on a whole lot. For example, who was that guy that wanted to kill me? That was flailing his axe everywhere, that wanted revenge or whatever he wanted from me. I don't know what he wanted, but he wanted to kill me. Why was he there? I don't understand. Maybe I'm just missing something. It's a pretty good chance that I'm missing something, but I don't know. I just found it kind of was useless part there. Didn't really- For example, that axe murderer guy. What was he doing in there? I, I don't see any relevance to him being in the plot at all. Maybe I'm just missing something. Like, I read the book and it said that he needed- that he did it after revenge. But what did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm but a small child. Another thing about it is that it's really hard to progress in the game. I know I don't like games that hold your hand saying, go here, go there, but I'd like at least a little bit of a clue to what you're supposed to do. Not just here, you're in this haunted house, get the fuck out. I know the developer put a little help cheat sheet on his forum page, but I feel like you don't need a cheat sheet if you're playing, you, you shouldn't need a cheat sheet to progress through a game. It's just my opinion. Some events, and another thing is some events didn't trigger correctly. For ex example, when I was replaying the game, I wish I was recording because that was a perfect jump scare moment and I didn't do it. But I was walking out of the, ba I was on my way out of the basement and then this girl came. She stopped and she was just like, you're not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody, but it's not you. And then she ran away. And then I was like, well, okay, I'm just going to ignore that. And I went, I was just going in the same direction because I needed to leave the basement. And then there was this weird monster ass thing that just pops up out of nowhere out of the screen and scares the living daylights out of me. But there was, n I could not for the life of me trigger that event again. I don't know if my health was different. And that kind of triggered it, or if it was just at a different time in the game, and that's what triggered it. I don't know. Overall, I'd give this game a solid six and a half out of ten. I kind of, I kind of liked it, but the repetitiveness of me having to die several times because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, kind of got me to be like, okay, fuck this game so hard. But. I think if the developer ever decided to go back on this game and give it a second shot, he could actually make this really, really good. S but that's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a good thumbs up if you did. Another thing, I will not be recording any more games until I get my new PC because this computer that I have now is a huge piece of shit. 
and I can't really record any good games without it being a piece of shit. So until I get my new computer, it's going to be a bunch of animations. So look forward to that, maybe. This does it for Cardiophobia. This is the end. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, the link for the game will be in the description below. I'm Kay, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys! You're pretty cute, huh? Oh god, get away from me. <laughs> well, what? High school girl, right? Mujitans love high school girls. Kay, I'm really concerned right now. <laughs> eh? Eh? Mujitans.